he came in to the bank where I work and he was there to see a loan officer and I happened to be in the lobby. I, I was there with about eight or ten other people. One of my employees was actually on a morning show giving an interview and we were there watching TV to support him. I actually was going to sign some documents at a, the bank she works at. It had nothing to do, had nothing, wasn't even involving her. And um, I walk in the bank and I was looking for my loan officer and there's, I don't know, five, seven, eight people. They're standing there at the counter, they're watching television. You know, I couldn't take my eyes off her. You know, at that time, I, you know, I hadn't said anything to her specific. Um, and I went to sign the, the documents I had to sign and I'm like, who is that? We started joking around and there was this warm, inviting smile about him. And I, I just thought, I, I, want, I want to get to know that guy. And I said, give me an excuse to come back there. Just give me some stupid excuse that's semi-legit so I can just go meet her. We went on three or four dates the first week. And I mean, we were talking for like four hours and I'm listening to her and I'm realizing who this person is. She's gorgeous. And I just, I knew in a week that if I can make this happen, I was going to make it happen. In less than a month, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know what, I, this is the one, and I'm gonna ask her. And if she says no, fine, but I gotta know. I mean, I know, I just knew. So I'm gonna ask her, and if she says no, then that's not what she's looking for, she, you know, and she said yes, so here we are. <laughs> he is the most selfless person I know, and he wears his heart on his sleeve. He cares about family unlike anyone I've ever met. That's exactly what I was looking for in a person, somebody that also values family as much as I do. You have this beautiful woman who isn't just beautiful on the outside. I mean, as I got to know her, she's perfect. Well, here we are on our wedding day, and I have never been more excited to accomplish that mission. I know you will be the best life partner ever, as I will do the same for you always. I will always be there for you for as long as I live. From your not so secret admirer. True love always. To the love of my life, right before I met you, I had completely given up on thinking that I wasn't meant to find it. Then the most incredible thing happened. I met this handsome man that was so intriguing and unlike anyone I have ever met. I can't wait to walk down that aisle and tell you how much I love you and promise to be yours forever, always by your side. You are my hero, you are my everything, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I loved you yesterday, I love you now, I will love you always. Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here to celebrate the joining together of Craig and Victoria. You have come to witness to and participate in their public commitment to one another. You come in order to offer your love and support to this couple. With your presence, Craig and Victoria know that they are surrounded by people who love them and care for them. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Marriage might be the greatest and most challenging human relationship. In order for marriage to survive and thrive, it requires love and patience, dedication and perseverance. It requires that both people are willing to make the important things most important and to let go of the rest. Victoria, the first time I saw you, I thought you were the most beautiful woman I had ever laid eyes on. After a week of four hour dates in the evening, getting to know the inner workings of Victoria for the first time in my life, I knew I was in love. Since we met, my life has done a complete 180. I have gone from the eternal bachelor, swearing off marriage, to learning what it is to compromise, listen and understand. What makes our relationship tick is a mutual understanding of what the other wants and needs and the respect we have for one another. When we're not together, I miss your smile, your laugh, your legs. You're the whole package. <laughs> you are smart, beautiful, affectionate, appreciative. I promise to be the best husband I can be. I promise you will always know you are loved by me. But most importantly, I promise to be there through thick and thin. Victoria, I love you more than I can put into words. My feelings for you grow daily, and I can't wait to see what we do together in this world. We're standing here in front of our family and friends, and I can't help but wonder if I'm dreaming. Can it be that we brought a fairy tale to life? 
Men like you only exist in books, in movies. Behind this strong exterior was the heart of gold, capable of loving unconditionally and making me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. I've gotten to know the incredible, loving and caring man who loves with his whole being, who wears his heart on his sleeve, and who is completely selfless. Every time you put your arms around me and tell me how much you love me, I wonder if you really exist or if I have dreamt this amazing man. It's standing here before me, making me feel like the happiest and luckiest girl in the world. In you, I have found the love of my life best friend, my confidant, my soulmate, my cousin. I know that together we can do anything. We can conquer the world. How is it that a girl that once lived halfway across the world found her way to Oklahoma where she met her one true love? I know that fate brought us together. And now that we're embarking on this incredible life journey, I promise to always be there for you through thick and thin, in sickness and in health. I promise to always be by your side, supporting you and loving you with all my heart. I promise to shower you with my love every second of every day. I promise to love you more tomorrow than I do today. <laughs> Even though it feels like it would be impossible to love you any more than I do already. Craig, I was born to love you, and I always will. Victoria? Victoria. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Craig. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. Now that Craig and Victoria have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. I invite you to kiss your wife. <laughs> and it is my privilege today to announce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Goldrich. When he called me and asked me, and told me that he was getting married, I was in shock. <laughs> when, when he asked me to be his best man, I was honored. And so I want to thank Craig and Victoria and wish them well in their future. Marriage is a, is a blessing. And today you guys have been blessed. And I hope that your marriage will be um, strong and you always will take care of each other, listen to each other. I would like to say that my sister is the best sister I can ask for. <laughs> and I'm so proud of a woman that you have become, that you have grown to be. You are very special. You are, you are special just because you are you. You are unique and different. And everything that you achieved so far, and everything that you will achieve in the future, just can't make me any more proud than I already am. Because you're absolutely amazing. Just want to say to Craig that now that you guys married, uh, you will have my job to take care of you. Because that's how I always felt as the older sister. She's my baby. Because when I was a teenager, she was born. So I feel like she's forever my baby. So now I'm giving that job to you. Take care of you and protect you. Uh, because that's how I felt like I have to shoot you, shoot you from any harm. May your love be like a van, strong enough to move the clouds, soft, soft enough to never hurt, but, but always never ending. May your life together be made this beautiful love, amazing happiness, and gorgeous children with green eyes. <laughs> like me, like mine. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen her so happy and I'm so happy for you. We have been through some of the most difficult times and the best times, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I love you so much, and I'm really happy for you. 
And then that's it. Judith and I are very happy and extremely proud to make this post to our son, Craig, and his bride, Victoria, who is a new member of our family. On their very special day, this, their happiness brings a lot of joy to our lives, and we wish them a lifetime of love. Victoria is humble, caring, loving, and dedicated to her career and her family. She is God's gift to all that know her. She is one of the many. Victoria, I've never seen you more beautiful than you are tonight. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. So proud of you. You're an amazing woman, and Yalulu to be a princess. Craig, you are a very lucky man. Treasure her for the rest of your life and she will treasure you. Leave yesterday's disappointments behind and start each new day with a clean slate and a positive outlook for Craig. May your married lives together be as joyous and wonderful as you both had dreamed that married life would be. Congratulations, Craig and Victoria.